let's uh, let's jump into it. Let's dive into uh, the the first topic that we have um, is remembering Jerry Stiller. And uh, you know, uh, it sucks whenever these these sort of big name comedy legends um, pass away. Uh, it's a very sad occasion, and and I hope that the Stiller family is is doing well. They're doing okay with this with this loss. Um, Jerry Stiller was uh, I I mean I, I honestly like when I first started doing comedy, I had no idea who this cat was. Um, I remember watching him uh, in King of Queens. That's where I knew him from. I knew him as Arthur Spooner, uh, you know, and uh, and he was. He, I I mean I don't I don't I really don't think. I realized what his influence in even my comedy was until much later. Like to to me, it's the way, like the way that he presented the over the top was always like starting at this very quiet, low, serious tone. Right, he pulls you in, and then he gets real high about it, and then like you know that because and that's the dramatic flair. It's that hyper change up that lead up to it. And, um, I do that sometimes in my comedy. And I think it comes from probably from watching Arthur Spooner on King of Queens when I was a kid, right? Like I used to watch that show with my parents, uh, on whatever weekday night it would air. Um, and I remember watching that show for years and, uh, I, I really enjoyed that show to be honest. Um, it was relatively well-written. The characters were pretty well-developed. Uh, but I like I I was mildly annoyed by Arthur Spooner because he was the old grumpy loud guy, right? And I did don't think I really appreciated what it was um, until you later see you know um, later see yourself being affected by it. Um, and I definitely have moments where I where I take it real slow and then I ramp it right up. And I think that's an Arthur Spooner uh, influence. Um, but a, I, I think a comedian that that is probably influenced by Jerry Stiller and that sort of like that pull you in and ramp you up kind of thing is uh, Eddie Pepitone. Um, if you guys are unfamiliar with, uh, with Eddie Pepitone and his work, um, very funny comedian, but Eddie Pepitone will do that same thing where he'll kind of keep it low and then he'll get really high and energetic, you know, energetic about it and he'll kind of explode. Um, and I think that's, that's a, um, that's something that that has you know more modern day comedians have been influenced by uh, Jerry Stiller there, and uh, I remember watching him on Seinfeld as well as George Costanza's dad. Uh, very entertaining character. Um, and here's the thing: I am not a big fan of Jerry Seinfeld as a, as a stand up comedian. Not a big fan of Jerry Seinfeld. Big controversial statement being made right there. Not a big fan of the. Not a big fan of Jerry Seinfeld. I I, I watched his. I haven't seen the the newest. But I guess a new special came out of his. Sure, um, this is how much I give a shit about Jerry Seinfeld. It's like somebody told me that his his new special came out, and I was like, yeah, sure, why not? That's a that's a thing that people can watch. Uh, and uh, um, you know, I uh, I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of Jerry Seinfeld. The I've watched his show as an adult and uh i watched it twice as an adult start to finish um because i think i i think my sister gave me the dvds or i used to own all the dvds something along those lines and i watched it again and i gotta say every time i watch it it's like kind of boring to me it's for the time when it came out, it was pretty revolutionary, but it definitely doesn't hold up, in my opinion. Um, and I've never particularly been a big fan of Jerry Seinfeld's comedy. Uh, you know who was a, a big Jerry Seinfeld guy? Is uh, my art teacher. The guy that made this painting was a big fan of Jerry Seinfeld. And I remember uh, when I graduated, I bought him a gift and I bought him uh, the Seinfeld CD that was out uh, at that point. But I've never been a fan of Jerry Seinfeld. But I, but even though I grew up and I watched Seinfeld as an adult, and I didn't particularly enjoy the show, um, I always enjoyed Jerry Stiller's character on that show. Uh, I, 
I thought he brought a, a, a much more interesting dynamic than any of the other characters on that show do, because realistically, like, they're the worst. But for whatever reason, I feel like It's Always Sunny addresses the uh, addresses like the protagonists are the worst characters ever much better than Seinfeld did. But with Jerry Stiller, when his character would come in and play George's dad, it's like you get to see where uh, George Costanza gets his neuroses from. Um, and it's done so well by Jerry Stiller. He plays that character really, really well. Very entertaining. Um, his career in Zoolander was, uh, his, or I guess his cameo in Zoolander was was fun as well. So, you know, kind of sucks whenever these legends die, and it, um, uh, in in comedy feels feels like you've you've lost something big there. Um, and and with uh, with Jerry Stiller, I think I think we have. Um, he always he always seemed like a good dude to me. Um, I I always liked what he did, and he seemed very humble and modest. And I feel like that's kind of the thing of comedians from that era um, that came up in that like Dick Van Dyke, uh, you know, uh, old old TV era is that they were pretty nice guys. Most of them were pretty nice guys. I know there's some of them that were like total fucking pricks. Uh, but most of them were pretty nice guys now. And I always got that, uh, feeling from watching, um, Jerry Stiller that he was, he was like a good dude, you know? So, uh, rest in peace. I, I, I hope wherever he is, uh, he is getting, uh, getting some rest and, uh, enjoying the, the afterlife or whatever it might be. Uh, yeah, that was, that was the little thing that I wanted to say about Jerry Stiller. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this clip. If you enjoyed this clip, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button, you hit the like button, make sure that you share this content out. Usually content like this, this anti-establishment comedy content is not uh, shown to as many people uh, as it possibly could be. It does get suppressed quite often, so uh, if you can hit that share button, get the word out there. Uh, and tell folks that you enjoyed this video. And if you want to be a part of a live virtual comedy show, the next live virtual comedy show, the next Citizen Revolution comedy show is going to be on May 22nd. Uh, tickets are available for that right now, and then they'll be um, they'll be happening every Friday uh, at 9 p.m. So tickets are available for these shows at krishmohan.com. That's K-R-I-S-H. M O H A N dot com. And you got to get your tickets uh, because that's how I'm going to be able to send you the Zoom login information so you can attend the show and we don't get any unwanted visitors in the Zoom show. So, like I said, the next one is on May 22nd. Grab your tickets and we'll see you there. Thanks again and we'll see you soon.